introduce yourselves and just tell me a little bit about your band, tell us what you're about, tell us what your music's like. Uh, so I'm Chris, play guitar. Um, Jamie, I do vocals. Yeah, Grief Ritual is kind of a blend of just all things heavy really, isn't it? Um, somewhere between hardcore, death metal and everything in between there really. So yeah. Sounds good. This was your debut set at 2003, is that correct? How did it go? How was your set? It was really cool. Obviously, we've, we've been big fans of 2003 as a festival anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, we were meant to play it 2019 and then obviously yeah. the world ended. So uh, yep. it, it's cool <laughs> to finally be able to come and do it. And it was great. Everyone loved it, I think. We yeah. loved it. Yeah, I had, like a really great time. Like Chris says, it's um, the festival we've been waiting a long time to play. So for us to get to actually play it, finally, it's just a, it's a nice release. And it's also... Like it's such a lovely festival in itself. Like it's one that I've always wanted to play. Just even as a, like a punter coming, so to actually do it now, it's brilliant. Yeah. Have you ever been to Two Thousand Trees before as like just guest or turning up with your own, just wanting to do it? Yeah. So I've, I think we've both been sort of just regular goers, if oh, you like, previously. Okay, um, long time ago now, obviously. But um, yeah, so to sort of play on the stage that we we've, we've watched bands on is just really cool, you know. How did you come up with the name Grief Ritual? What does it mean? Does it have any sort of meanings, anything? Um, it's just kind of like a time, I guess, in like my, my life, like a couple of years ago, where things weren't going so well. Um, and it just kind of encapsulates that time um, in that like sense that there's a lot of things going on in the world, maybe that aren't that great. So, And you kind of can feel like you're stuck in a rut almost. So. Yeah. You've got the grief of that and then the ritual of your daily life where it's like going over and over and over and then I guess it kind of just like forms to become grief ritual and like so I make really miserable music out of that. You've got a debut single coming out in September called Spiritual Disease, yeah? Can you tell me anything about it? Yeah, so it's uh, it's an EP, so it's a five track EP. Uh, We've recorded over two sessions since like last October um, that we kind of sat on for a little bit so we're really excited to, to get that out. It's pretty much as miserable and heavy yeah. as our band name would suggest yeah. Um, but yeah super excited to get it out eventually yeah, yeah. and we've recorded that with um, Joe Clayton at No Studio he's in Leached and Pine um, he's an incredible guy I like I think he's the UK's version of Will Putney really he's just a really talented guy and anything that he gets involved with and produces he's got such a good ear so I can't really speak highly enough for him he's done a really good job of their production and everything and like we're really excited to get it out so I think it really sums up kind of what we what we're about the last like year so it's great it's great one word to describe your band or your sound what would it be miserable um cloying maybe <laughs> okay so the next bit this is where we're going to get a wee bit more fun so not loose are playing yeah will you guys do your best arf arf impression for me yeah, yeah? yeah. you go first you're the, you're the vocalist um, arf arf <laughs> that's Ready? a sea lion <laughs> Arf, arf. Is that your one as well? You're going sea lion? I'll go sea lion. Perfect. Uh, I, be- I believe that's what they sampled, you know. So. <laughs> and finally, are you up to date with Stranger Things? Do you know anything about Stranger Things? I haven't watched the last couple, so if anyone spoils it, we're, we're, fall- not, we're, we're, not fa- spoil we're falling it. out. <laughs> yeah. what, what song would save you from Vecna? See, I'd go, I'd go Metallica again, just because it's very on brand with that show. So I, I go with I go with Blackened by Metallica. I think Blackened time timeless classic. <laughs> um, that's tricky. I'd I'd like go something probably a bit weirder, maybe um, Friends Like These by Bracewell. Cool. I thought he was going to say Death of Honor. Then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it's been really great talking to you. Thank you so much for doing this. Sorry if it was a wee bit awkward no, or anything. This is like the first time we have ever done anything like this. I'm new to the whole... Oh, you smashed thing. it. You smashed I'm it. I'm new worry. to all of this, but thank you so much. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the rest of the, the time here. Are you staying for the whole weekend? Yep. Yeah, we'll be well, here. Enjoy the rest of your time, and cool. I hope you have a great weekend. Thank, thank you. you very much. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. My arms hurt now. <laughs> And is this your first time at Trees? Certainly yes. is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you enjoyed it? How did your set go? So great, really Honestly, cool. Yeah. Um, really early, uh, but it was like a nearly full tent, which was actually fantastic. It was really nice for everyone to come out so early. Yeah. And, brilliant, brilliant. And so good. Good, good effort, yeah, it was great. Where did the name Marissa and the Moss come from? <laughs> well, it was actually like a happy accident. Okay. Um, so back in there, um, it was <laughs> I was pursuing trying to find a band, and Liam was there with me from the start. 
and we had a little meeting and I was like right I've got to think up, up of a name and Liam was like you know it should be your name in the band I was like, know? it's Marisa she's this big giant energy um, it makes sense but it'd be her and then we just talked about like various things you misheard what I yeah, said yeah that was it I misheard him he said oh Marisa and the Mouths I think it's what Mouths, he yeah, said Gobby, yeah 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 <laughs> and, and I was like Mouths oh my god that's amazing that makes so much sense because they're both delicate and they're both dark and I went yeah. my head just went like, perfect all it, these it's, things it's a weird name but it's done as well it's a we great it. name I'm, I'm a big fan of Mouths I've got a death Mouth yeah. tattooed on me I love it yeah. yeah. Mouths are just such an emo thing yeah, emo forever um, <laughs> so as a band who are your biggest musical influences uh, we, we all they, have different they, ones, they, don't we? They all kind of, they all kind of flow around. We, 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 we like we started off like big, loving the grunge thing, loving yeah. the Nirvana, the nineties, like anything from the nineties grunge scene. Yeah, um, absolutely. But I love, I grew up on classic rock and like punk, a load of punk stuff, and you grew up on loads of other things. So. I like alternative rock and I like screamo hardcore kind of stuff. So like various things but I think in general we both like music that hits you hard in like the heart in yeah. terms of like yeah. as a meaning or like it's got that energy and that vibe and we both really like um, sort of, sort of quite dynamic like really heavy and then have those like really nice intimate yeah, moments yeah. too so and I love 90s hip hop but that comes out that doesn't really that doesn't really factor into anything I know, that's yeah. the yeah. hidden secret the things that no one's supposed yeah, to know yeah, yeah. I know that's yeah. just... <laughs> What has been your most memorable moment? Like one thing you'll just never ever forget. This is definitely one of them. Yeah. This is one of them. This yeah. Is one have of you them. ever played any other festivals? We played a Smaller few ones. Probably, probably, we, played, yeah. we played a few little bits, but. Um, but are you listening? Uh, we played a few times in Reading, and that was amazing. Yeah. But it's, it's a very big like home. I um. Let's just let yeah, it. Know, like, it. They're exactly just blaring behind us. It's, it's Alex like, playing it. It's our guitarist is playing. Oh, he's literally, yeah, literally, literally, so he just yeah. got. He just literally. Yeah, so great. Um, yeah, play, like actually playing like coming back after the, our tour that we just finished, playing our hometown at the end of the tour to like a packed out room. That those kind of things, just the whole of the tour we've just done, yeah. uh, are all moments that we'll, like, we'll, we'll remember forever. Just, just like to, yeah. to see the growth and all that oh, stuff. Our live streams, they was they went down so amazing. Yeah, we, we kind of got through lockdown doing live streams, yeah. and like all all our fans, we like grew our fans massively through that, and we just want to thank them a, hundred, like, yeah. a million times. They got awesome. us through it. And everything. Yeah. but I feel like if we're you know, I'm just now thinking because it's a weird question. Maybe like when you're like, oh, I'm not sure, but yeah, you know, when we released our first album. When we released yeah. our yeah. first singles. Every time we release a song and we put it out there, it's like we You'll put our heart on the line. Yeah, it's like we put Shut it. Up, Alice. <laughs> we put everything into what we do in terms of music, and when we put it out there, that's always such a special moment when you get that reaction from people. I guess when they like yeah. it, that's yeah, for sure. that's what you do music for, right? You want to make music people love, and yeah. so. Okay. I literally told him to shut up and he shut up. <laughs> That's Tom, our sound guy, telling Alice to shut up. All yeah, the time. Okay, I've um, only got two other little questions. No worries, let's so, do it. Let's out do of it. your band members, who would you least like to share a tent with? Liam! Me. Why? <laughs> I snore hardcore. <laughs> I snore. It's it. Like, I wake the my, whole band say that. Oh, I wake myself up. It's just I, I, like it is crazy. Like I, I if I, if I have to share rooms with people, I bring my own earplugs to give to them and I apologise in advance. Oh, it's God, nothing to do with how much I drink before, after a gig at all. Definitely not at all. But yeah, I snore hard. So nobody. So you're, wants to you're on the tent by yourself. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And finally, are you familiar with Stranger Things? Yes. Oh, yes. What song would save you from Vecna? Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, have you said you're not seeing the new series? I've not seen the new ones oh, it's yet. So I'm not, I, I was good. about to start it literally. Well, the other you, day. Just, you just did a cover of Kate Bush, which is from. I did that. a cover that, of Kate that, Bush. That's what covers yeah. Max, so yeah. that saves Max. Uh, Fire and Rain by. Um, uh, oh my, uh, James Taylor, Fire and Rain, James Taylor would save me. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most beautiful, heartfelt folk songs of the That what, would pull you that out of that. Pull me out yeah. of there, yeah, yeah. What about you? Yeah, what, what about your, you? Um, it would probably be Skater Boy by Avril Lavigne, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yes! That would pull oh, me out Avril of anything. You will be the Skater Boy. <laughs> literally anything. I love it, I love yeah, it. Yeah, what song? What song would save you? I have, wait, I have literally no idea. I've you, it's just like the song that connects with you that would drag you out of a bad Any place. song ever. Ever song, any song. 
Um, uh, I really like a perfect circle, Judith. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. That, that is it. That's my Done. movie. Thank you so much for doing this with me. It's thank you very much for having me. us. Guys, thank, thank you. Thank you. Sorry for being so slow about that response. You can cut. Okay. That's editing. It's about. okay. It's all edited. Danny, I'm and Danny. you've just played your set at 2000 Trees, correct? That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. How did it go? How was it? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was great. Any yeah. any pits? Did you, um, did you get yeah. any pits? Um, yeah, I, I got in a pit at the end. The, oh, the, my great. lead went long enough to get in the crowd, so I just had to leave <laughs> my guitar back. Usually oh, I just get fun. in there with my guitar and like, have a bit of a fragment. So you have a new single coming out, Star Sungazer. Sun you have a new single coming out, Sungazer, yeah. which you wrote during lockdown. Yeah. How does it feel to be out of lockdown now and performing again and not being stuck with you know just yourself and your own thoughts and trying to have some sort of creative process in that how is it getting back out there again yeah it's, uh, well, it's, it's been nice to just play yeah. gigs like the main thing is like playing gigs like we had uh, all this time in the world but it just felt like time had slowed down didn't it? it was weird yeah, so, yeah no it was but, a, definitely a weird time yeah. out of your band i know they're not here right now who would you least want to share a tent with at a festival of any bands? Out of your own band, out of your own band members, who would you not want to be sharing a tent with? Oh, I think Kieran, our drummer, because he snores really loud. That's what we got yeah, from the last answer. Yeah. It's always snoring. And yeah. finally, are you you know not Glusser playing today? Yeah. Would you be willing to do your best Arf Arf impression for me? What's that? The, the, the Arf 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 Arf. Uh, Perfect. Uh, right, I have one more quick question. Yeah, yeah. I just remembered about it. Have you seen Stranger Things? I haven't, no. no. Do, you, have you, do you know anything that's going on with Stranger Things right no, now? No, I, I, I watched the first season and I sort of like... I, I, to be fair, I will probably watch it at some point, like fully, but like... Well... I've been watching like documentaries on the bubonic plague at the moment, trying to do a few studies on it. I watched three of them. Apparently it's still, it's still around in Madagascar in these days. Didn't so, know that. Interesting yeah. fact of the day. Well, I'll ask you the question anyway. <laughs> I'll ask you the question anyway. If Vecna was in control of your mind... What song would pull you out? What song would save you? Any song, what song would save you? Uh, Don't Cry For Me, Argentina, because it reminds me of my mum and it makes me cry. Brilliant choice, brilliant choice. Well, that's that's everything I've got for you today. Thank you so much for joining me and doing this with me today. And yeah, that's that's really it. I think we're done. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, tell me your names, tell me about your band. Let Hello, me... <laughs> I am Ian. My name is Nick. My name is Callum. I might be George. You are George. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we're Bears and Trees. We make uh, uh, fun, inoffensive pop rock yeah. for people to do this to. <laughs> yeah, it's true. People do that all the time. Uh, every, I actually try them. and stop them. <laughs> they can't now. stop. So am I correct in thinking you guys are yet to perform? You haven't actually had your uh, own we're performance yet? performing at half six. Half six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you excited? I'm oh, so oh, yeah. excited. Is this your first time at Trees as uh, well? Our first time, you've been here before. I went here, uh, I volunteered here a couple of years oh, ago. that's exciting. First, first time, time playing, playing yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, exciting. Yeah, yeah. So, where does the name come from? Why are the bears in the trees? Ah. Well, we actually, we all had like a group fever dream. It yeah, it was a collective, like, yeah. halluciner- hallucinatory yeah, experience. Yeah. <laughs> I think we did it purely for this festival, so that we could be Finally. 2,000 bears yeah. and 2,000 trees. <laughs> it's actually, it was George's dream to play this festival yeah. seven years ago. <laughs> So the, 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 the real answer is really yeah, boring, but uh, <laughs> basically we were really struggling to find the name. We were going through loads like uh, Royal Jellyfish, uh, Dinosaur Kinda Fight like Club. Those, yeah, yeah they're, cool, they're cool names, but like they weren't really working. And then like we were like, screw this, let's go on a band name generator. And it came up with Bears in Submarines. And we were like, ah, what a stupid name is Bears in Submarines. And we just started making fun of it. And then accidentally someone said Bears Brilliant. in Trees. And we were Brilliant, like, love that. Right, love that. <laughs> so, how do you feel that you're officially verified on Twitter? Oh, yeah, that's actually crazy. crazy. Yeah, was like, that must like have been castle, a moment. Like it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, finally Yeah, I got saw there. your tweet about everything that happened in the 72 hours that you've been verified. <laughs> it was, we're ready to cause such chaos. It's we are. It's a verification when they don't tell you what's happening. You just suddenly, here's a little tick, like, oh, shit, when did that happen? <laughs> it's like, it's just a beast to get, that little blue tick. It seems so <laughs> insignificant, but I've so... I've seen so uh, many people struggling with it, so yeah. it must be like a proper achievement it to does, get that one. It does, it does, yeah. Um, so you guys are doing really well on TikTok. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. you guys have popped up on my For You page, you've popped up on my friends' For You page. Works. So we've seen...
seen you. <laughs> How do you feel that TikTok is influencing the music industry right now and like oh. music discovery and just that sort of thing? Like how people are finding bands. I think generally it's positive. I mean, TikTok as a platform demo- um, democratizes like finding music and music consumption. And I think for the time being, it's still a place where any artist with a song and with a message which can resonate can really find an audience and find a place. I mean, I think we've been very lucky to do that. We found a lot of our favorite artists, a lot of our friends now who are artists via TikTok. Yeah. So I think that overall it's positive. I mean, it's still a, in its early days. Like, yeah. you know, it could change. Uh, but as it is, it's just really fun, you yeah. know? I, I think that it gives, it gives the artist a, an opportunity to just be themselves to people and just have people who enjoy them from wherever they are to find them. It's, it reminds me of like Tumblr back in 2014. It reminds me of MySpace back Tumblr. in the day. I wasn't on my <laughs> Tumblr, yeah. It was, but it was also where I found like a load of my, my best yeah, music, you know? And like, it, it gives artists a lot more leverage because it's like, if I can do this myself, then I don't need to give in to huge industry people. Oh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I can I can keep going at a small There's level. There's a more DIY aspect exactly. to TikTok. Yeah, so you can do it all yourself. Exactly. Yeah. So this is the TikTok question. All right. Are you familiar with Stranger Things? Yeah, I'm yeah. familiar with it, yeah. yeah. I, I know it exists. <laughs> you know it exists. Have any of you seen the last season at all? No. Uh, all except the last episode. If I ask you what would be your Vecna song, what song would save you from Vecna? Do you know what I mean? So that's yeah. the song that like brings you back brings out you from back. The, the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the, not the other side. The... Oh. Upside down. Oh, oh yeah. Down. Easy, easy. My brain completely went easy, there. Easy, easy. American Pie by Don McLean. <laughs> okay, I'll go for Escape, the Pina Colada song. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah, oh gosh, it's hard. Um, I think I'd go for Love Story by Taylor Swift. Yeah, it's true. Good choice as well. <laughs> Um, that is, that's an impossible question. <laughs> it isn't, don't try, just let the just, answer just, flow. Just, just say a, just okay. say a song. No, I've got it. It would be, I think it would be Still, uh, Still Feel by Half Alive. That's a great song. Good song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that is all my questions. Thank you very much for Thank you. me. Thank you for Thank joining you. my vlog. Like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> put your arms out now. Thank you. <laughs>
never don't mess about with songs. They just, know. it's all it's about frightening. bangers. There's no like, oh, we're gonna do like a 50 minute instrumental psychedelic it's thing. <laughs> it's like, melody. can you sing it? Can you party to it? Yeah. Abba. Yeah. Abba. Yeah. Abba. And the Prodigy is a big one. Yes. Yeah, I mean yeah. that as well, yeah. but like, not as much that. Like. Ab- <laughs> Abba Gabba. Abba Gabba. Abba, Abba Gabba. Gabba is our biggest That's influence. our new tagline for Instagram, I think. Abba Gabba. Abba Gabba. Abba Gabba. <laughs> um, so, as a band, what's been your most memorable moment so far? Just out of your we entire su- musical career together, what's been the most memorable thing? We supported Ed Shikari back in February. I was, I was hearing about that. One of my friends was telling me about that. That must have been amazing. Oh, it was really, really fun. And, like, I like the fact as well that it was in, like, a super small venue that, like, they chose as part of, like, the Music Venue Trust, um, which is, like, to sort of revive... Um, revive Live. Revive Live, yeah. yeah. My bad. A revive Live, and it's just, just to put money back into like the local uh, music venues, and it it was just really fun and like really nice to just like support the local like scene in that way as well. I think for us as well, I think it's fair to say like we do actually have like a big influence from Enda Shikari as yeah. well because yeah, obviously yeah. it's like the collaboration between the electronic stuff and then also like the more hardcore like punky yeah. like oh, yeah, emo yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. So for me personally, like playing with them because I've loved them for like literally half over half my life now yeah. and see it like just doing that was yeah it, it was amazing, it was yeah. so sick yeah really really good and they're all so nice as well lovely probably yeah. lovely like the feedback we got from them was beautiful and it was a bit i don't know i walked I away from that gig and for two weeks i was just like what the fuck just <laughs> happened yeah you just never it never really settles in does it nah, nah, nah. <laughs> i've got two more questions left this one's a bit more of a fun one did you guys camp last night yes, yes. so who would you least like to share a tent with out of the lot of you? Who would you least want to share a tent with and why? <laughs> Listen, I know Molly. what they're going to say. No fucking do you be like this. Molly snores like a water. I fucking Everybody, do know. Whenever I've asked this question, the answer of why has always been they snore. Farts I've never had anything. Like a water. <laughs> Listen. Smells like a water. When I was a young warthog. <laughs> when I was a young warthog. <laughs> then that's just me. I'm Pumba all oh, the way through. I love that. <laughs> Are you on it in a tent by yourself or are you sharing? Bitch, I'm not sharing my tent with anybody. <laughs> we're all, we're all separate You're all separate yeah, tents. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got my little like cave of doom to sleep in, so these can just do whatever they want. It's grim. You opened it this morning, I just smoke came. It's <laughs> just like a green cloud, like farted its way like out. Like a Disney front. villain. Yeah. Like the whole of the tent was just a massive bum hole. So. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this last question is the one that is going to be the TikTok thing. Are you guys familiar with Stranger Things? Yeah. Yeah. Have you watched the recent season? Yeah. Okay, yes. I'm not going to spoil anything okay, here, you, but yeah. what song would be your Vecna song that would save you from being in the upside down? Fuck. Oh. Now nah, you go ask someone else first. Who wants to go first? What would be your Vecna song? I'm expecting an ABBA song. <laughs> uh, regulate Warren G featuring Nate Dog. <laughs> That's Mine would be um, uh, Blood ha- Bloodhound Gang Bad Touch. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, just running away from that demon. It's like, sweat, baby. <laughs> Six to the dicks and stuff. Yeah, yeah oh, you know how it goes. Put your I'm head be... down my pants. SOS by Apple. <laughs> <laughs> that is a brilliant <laughs> one. That's such a good choice. Mine would ha- probably have to be Get Your Hands Off My Woman, Motherfucker by The Darkness. <laughs> yes, yeah. 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 Great answers, yeah, yeah. great answers. You can't, like, Vecna could not fuck you up if you're there going, <laughs> Get your hands off of my woman, motherfucker. Oh, no, he wouldn't know what the fuck to do. Nah, Vecna would just be like, No, please, please back no, it up. Who are you? Who's Vecna? It's the bad, the bad, the bad guy in the final season. Oh, oh. Eddie, though. Oh my god, We yes, love you, Eddie! Eddie. Gorgeous. 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 Don't say anything, I haven't seen it. I haven't Don't watched the end good. of the last I one. I'm still like, I've still got a wee bit to go. I'm literally May. waiting until I get back to, from this festival to uh, watch the, the final, <laughs> final episode. So I'm just like, yeah. no, no spoilers, but yeah. Eddie. Just Eddie. I'm, I've already kind of seen and I'm not prepared for it. I think I'm getting up to the scene where it happens. No! Like, no. Well, what happens? I'm Nothing not happens. It's so fine. Right. Fact of this, the guy who actually played guitar for that scene, like recorded it, is Rob from Metallica's Son. Whoa! Whoa! No way! I saw this thing the other day that was like they compared like the dates in Stranger Things and then the dates that it was actually released, and it was like he would have had like three days or 
or something to learn the entire thing <laughs> with no internet, so no tabs, no videos, no nothing. And it's just like, yes, go on. Yeah, of course, that would happen. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> But yeah, that is everything. Thank you so much for joining me in this. And no, thank you. Being an interview. It's been really great to meet you guys. You guys oh, are so you. cool. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it's been awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Talking horror, bitch. Talking horror.